Hi guys, today we'll talk about how you can you know, set up your Prosperous cluster. Okay, and after that, you also add up the self storage cluster. So we have the backend storage which will be based on self. So let's proceed. The first things to do to the requirement or the prerequisites that you have uh, it's a cluster network or a network where all nodes should be able to. To be communicate okay so this uh, the and in our case uh, the network for this proximus network okay the network for the prospect network will be this network that, that i will use okay for your for your side if you have only one network network okay you can proceed to use this uh, only one network where all those nodes are able to be uh, reached okay so for instance i will choose this network to be my uh, replication or my clustering network for the Proxmos uh, cluster first okay so to to proceed uh, before proceed uh, let's check let's don't do a little big ping to be sure that uh, my nodes are reachable okay others nodes are, are, are reachable through this network So the first node, okay, that being uh, the second, the third node, yeah, so this is okay. So now let's proceed uh, to the clustering. I will just, uh, let me close uh, this uh, view, but okay, anyway, I will put myself on this uh, level, okay. And from there, let's go at the data, data center level. I will go at the data center level. As you can see, I've put myself on at this data center level. Okay. And from there, let's go to the cluster, as you can see. And create cluster. I will see... Uh, Mm, I will call it cluster zero one, for instance. Okay, and the cluster network will be the Proxmos cluster network. Okay, don't confuse with the self storage cluster network. Don't confuse. Okay, this network will be used for the uh, for the type of the clustering of the Proxmos network only. Okay, so this will be the network of the uh, uh, for the cluster network for the uh, Proxmos. So let's choose this one. And uh, yeah. Okay, so this one is, is okay. And uh, yeah, the status uh, is okay also. So let's close it. Now I will add others node into this uh, cluster, okay? I, I have to take some information, the join information. I have to take this one, the join information. Don't forget to take the join information. Copy it and go back here. Let me close this one. So we need your jo the join information not to be able uh, to let others know uh, to join uh, this network that has been created. Okay, let's close this one. Now let's go on this node at the data center level again. Uh, you go here on the cluster level and from there I click on join. I will pass over the information. I'm facing a little bit uh, latency. Okay, it is a little bit. Uh, okay, so now it requires for me to set up the root password of the remote node. So let's uh, do that.
and the cluster network should be this network. Okay, so now I have to hit the command uh, join cluster 01. Just wait a moment. Okay, as you can see, the second uh, node has been added successfully. Okay. I can also, it's okay, I can close it and uh, just refresh the view. Okay. Great. Now uh, I will have to add the third node to the cluster. I'm coming here at the data center level again, and from there to the cluster level, I hit the, the button join cluster. Okay, and the password is. Choose the cluster network. Just uh, do your last check. Okay, great. Okay, normally I should be able to see this one. Okay, the third node is there. Just uh, wait a moment. Okay, great. I can refresh the view. Okay, the view here also is okay. And here also, let's close this one and refresh the view. Great. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay. Okay, great. So this is how we can set up your, your Portsmouth cluster, as you can see. Okay, so this is amazing. The next step will be to set up of your, your self -stor uh, storage cluster. Okay, so this is what I will intend to proceed up, uh, at the next, uh, next step. Okay, great. So let's proceed uh, to the next step, which will be to set up of your self storage cluster. Okay. So the, the prerequisite uh, to, to have uh, to set up your self storage cluster is to be sure that uh, all nodes uh, are connected. Uh, yes, this requirement has been, this requirement has been already done. Okay. I have uh, the, the networks. Okay. Which is there. The public network of the self storage not, uh, cluster. And also the cluster network of the self story cluster. Okay. So, and we see the case for others for all nodes. Next step is the, the disk. Okay. The I drive. We have to be sure that we have those, some empty I drive, I drive on each node. 
So this is the case uh, on all nodes. Uh, I have uh, additional drives, as you can see. Okay, same thing here. I have uh, different additional drives there. So as of uh, this one, as we know, the requirement has been done. Okay, I can easily proceed uh, to the next step. Let's just so uh, close this level. Yeah, the next step will be to go at the safe level. Okay, and uh, I hit the button install safe. Okay, I will install safe. Let's do that. And I have to choose uh, the, the version that I would like uh, to use uh, for the safe. Here I have uh, some uh, uh, options, but me, I will use uh, the Reef ver version, okay, the uh, 18 version. Okay, and uh, I will choose uh, no subscription level okay to don't to use of the, the the open source version okay so now after done that i can uh, proceed to the uh, start or reef installation just do a last checking it's okay for me so now the installation is ongoing i have to say yes Okay, great. So next, uh, the next one will be to set up of a public network for the SEF. Okay, so our as you already know, it's this one, and the cluster network will be the second this network. Okay, great. And uh, yeah, I can hit the uh, next. A last checking to see. Okay, of course, I will add additional monitors later, later, okay? Okay, so installation is successful. You can click on the finish. The next step will be to install, uh, to add OSDs, monitors, and pools. So we'll do it later. But for the moment, I will add, I will install also the safe storage, the safe node on the second node. Okay. Here I can see the health is one because I have only one monitor and uh, monitor in my cluster. And also I have don't, I don't have any OSD in my cluster at the moment. Okay. This is why I have, I have this healthy. Uh, which is one okay let after add the additional uh, node into the cluster i will be able to uh, install or add additional osds on those drives that i have on each node okay so let's proceed i will go to the next node i go next node i, I can stay here if i want yeah i can stay here it's the same things I will go at the uh, safe level and install the staff simply. And uh, the non subscription level and start start the reef version install. Say yes.
grids. So next, now configuration already initialized. So next, finish. Let's go to the next node, to the last node. Again, install Ceph, re version, non subscription, no subscription, sorry, and install it. I will say yes. Great. Initialization already done. So next and finish. Great. Now all the nodes have our self self uh, install on it. Okay. The next step to will be to configure the managers, monitors, and uh, the OSDs. Okay. This this will be the next step. So let's go back on this first node. Okay. I will go at on the self level. Let's go at the self level. From there, I go on the monitor. Okay. At the moment, I have only one monitor and only one manager. Okay. So the recommendation is to have uh, a, a at least uh, three monitors. So this is what I, I have to do right now. Create a new monitor. On the, this node, let's create a monitor on this second node. Okay, I will create a third monitor. Great. Now I will have a new manager, okay, a second manager on the second uh, on the second node. Yeah, now I have installed the monitor and the manager successfully. I will proceed to the next, which will be the OSD, okay, which will be OSD. Right now, we still I still have the warning just because. I have no OSD into the Ceph cluster. I don't I don't talk about the drive, but right now I don't have no OSD in the Ceph cluster. So this is what I will proceed right now. But adding by configure each OSD on each drive that I have. Okay. So let's do that. Go back to the, at the OSD level. From there, create OSD. I save the first the first drive that I uh, we intend to use will be this VDA drive. I have many drives, okay? Three drives. So I will choose this one to create over my first OSD. Great. Let's create a second OSD. Okay. Just wait a time. The view will refresh. Back here, yeah. So let's create a new OSD on the second drive, as you can see. Okay, I will go to the next node to proceed to uh, the same. Okay, so let's go at the second node. Okay, on the second node, let's create a new OSD. Yeah. Great. Can refresh the view, but just wait a moment for the server to finish up the installation of a daemon on this 
OSD. Okay. And uh, yeah, I can create a never another one. Yeah. Okay. Great. Let's go to the third node. We let just let off the time for to the cluster to finish off the installation of, of the OSD. Okay. So let's go to the third third node. I will proceed up to the same again. Yeah, now I have enough OSD to have a healthy cluster. Okay. Just wait for the moment uh, to have uh, a, the last way they appear on this view, okay? And uh, I will go back on the safe dashboard and see that of the, the alarm has been cleared. Just wait a moment. Yeah, okay, so now let's see the alarm right now. The yeah, now we're one was it down. Just wait a moment. Normally, should not just wait a moment to let the cluster finish of the installation, the configuration. Because right now, Okay, it says that it's down, but it's in. Okay, so now the demon is not yet start started. Just wait a moment. Maybe you got some issues about the cluster network. Okay, so let's uh, check this second node. I will check of the cluster network of this particular node. And uh, yeah, it is this one, the cluster network. Edit. Yeah, we are okay there. Okay. So nothing bad. Nothing bad. So. Now it was two, now we have two, we have now one OSD. So just wait. To let the cluster finish the configuration. Uh, okay, let's. Try to ping. I see. Yeah. I'm just trying to test over. Ah, okay. There is something is wrong on the. Yeah, okay. Ah, no, okay. You should not have, you should not have to have this IP address, okay? So I was wrong on this uh, one. Let's just try to correct it, okay?
Okay, so this node, okay, should not have to have this IP address. As you can see, the IP address has been duplicated. Yeah, okay, this is the reason why we have, uh, we have this issue. Okay, so let's, uh, uh, let's try to edit it and say the IP address should be 2. Okay, and uh, apply the configuration. Yeah, so let's check this one again. I will uh, ping the everything should be okay now. Yeah, okay, so everything should be okay. Great. So let's see the, the health of the cluster regarding the reserve storage. I will restart of the USD if needed. Yeah. Now let's see the health of the cluster. Okay, great, great. So we have to wait a moment uh, to let uh, the alarm to be clear cleared. So others was was they have to report of the information to the monitor and hence the monitor acknowledge of this alarm. I mean this warning will uh, be cleared. As you can see, we have zero USD down at the moment, but we still have some, those alarm have to be cleared. So let's restart of uh, this monitor. Too slow operation, all this uh, block for. Okay, so let's just start uh, restart of the monitor, the first monitor. Yeah, so of course, but if you remember, 
those alarm has been cleared okay i have solved this issue so normally here uh, okay so let's go to the osd1 with the one let me start with the with the one simply Okay, so let's use one. So we had them start to be cleared. Mm, let's see. Okay. Just wait, just wait. So right now, as you can see, the pages, yeah, now we're, your close, your self story cluster is, the health is okay. This means that all your personal cluster is up and running, and also the backend storage, which is based on self, is also up and running. So congratulations, and again, as you, you have already seen, it's a little bit uh, uh, troubleshooting that you have done. Okay, nothing uh, very uh, deep, but uh, we can have an overview about how we can handle those situations. Okay, so thank you very much again, and I uh, hope that uh, you appreciate it. Don't forget uh, to like, uh, comment, and share this video. And uh, yeah, this helps us to build or uh, create much more content like that. Thank you very much, uh, and take care.